right, this is the Power King without the blade on the front. It's been such a long time. Actually, I don't think it's not had the blade on the tractor while we've uh, had the property, which is over two years now. So this is the other question I have for everybody out there with the Power King, or just maybe on your, your older tractor. So the dish of the wheel is way in on both sides, front and rear. And so I'm looking at the back here. See how much room I have here? And it's not even under the fender. So I'm debating on swapping the wheels from side to side and bringing it in, because it'll probably bring it in like two or three inches. And then that might actually, in the garden back there, when I'm making my rows, maybe give me an extra row. You know, because it'll be like, if I can make it the whole tractor like six inches narrower, you know, with 14, 13 or 14 rows, you know, that'll add up to an extra row. So I'm going to swap the wheels from each side and uh, we'll see what, the, what I get. But before I get swap them, I'm going to mark the ground with some uh, like chalkboard chalk and then mark it again once I swap it and we'll see how much it uh, really shrank. Big shop, I still trip over myself. up close with the differences here so see how deep that goes in now this is you know this is like two-thirds this way and that's two-thirds back in so let's flop these side to side So I like to start all the lug nuts, even on uh, my truck and Sparkle's car by hand. You know, these are bolts. Mark the other side now. All right, 
let's move the tractor, let's measure. Okay, let's measure. Call that four foot. Now measure inside to inside. 40, 42. So uh, shrink six inches. I think that's a pretty sizable amount. Now between this line and this line, that one and that one, we started off at 48 inches and now we got down to 42. So it shrank three inches on either side. So total of six inches. Um, I'd say the tractor looks a little weird. It doesn't have the same uh, beefy stance. But now that we know what number we're gonna work with, uh, let's measure the front. And if we have to flop those uh, front tires, we will. Whew. So in between, we have 44, so that means we definitely need to swap it. Um, yeah, shouldn't affect anything except for uh, having to swap them. All right, let's do that. These don't matter because there's the tread on them is the same. Pretty well lined up. So these two marks here. So we were 44, and now we are 38. So what I learned is by flipping the wheels inside out basically, or, or correctly how they should be, um, and I'm just going by pictures I found of different Power Kings on actually eBay. It's a uh, Great place to find uh, information about a, about a piece of equipment you have because it's for sale somewhere, no matter how old it is. But we gained or shrank six inches front and back by flip flopping the tires. So I think uh, that's pretty awesome, and our, hopefully that'll show in uh, how much we grow in our garden. All right. Thanks everybody, I hope this helped somebody with the Power King out there. All right, tune in for next video.